hi everyone once again welcome to my channel if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and the problem we are solving in this video is partition array into disjoint interval where like in this problem we are given a integral array nums and we need to partition this array into two contiguous array left and right such that both the left and right array should contain at least one element and the every element in left is less than or equals to every element in right so left and right are non empty left has the smallest possible size and we need to do partition in such a way that so that the left has as small as size as possible based on this three two constraint so and we have to return the length of the left uh, partition so for example one we have this array input five zero three six eight six so first of all we need to take the one if i take five then the all the element in the right part should be greater than or equals to 5 but we don't we have 0 as well so we will take till here 5 and 0 again if we check 3 is smaller than 5 so we need to take 3 5 0 3 as well in this left side now if we see the clearly at this play point 503 is the left subarray and 86 is the right subarray see every element in the left uh, contiguous array is less than or equals to the every element in the right side of the part so this is the minimum length left is possible we can do partition here and we need to return the length of left part which is 3 similarly in second example if you see if you take 1 then 0 is smaller than then we need to consider 0 as well in the left part so this is the left and this is the right so the uh, length of the left subarray is 4 we need to return 4 as answer so how to solve this kind of problem as whatever giving if you are not able to capture the optimal solution first try to brute force how you can do it so let me explain how we can do it so for the brute force or the naive approach solution what we can do like at least one element in the left part as per the problem so what we will do we will it iterate over from this and uh, at this place we know the left maximum and left maximum value for now is five then what we will do from the all the elements on the right side we will try to find out what is the minimum value in the right part so the right minimum for now is zero and what is the condition like the left maxima should be greater than less than or equals to the right minimum so five is less than or equals to zero no it is not so this is not the answer so we will keep iterate the left and update our left maxima and left maxima is still 5 and 0 max between 5 and 0 is 5 so now we will check the right uh, maximum from this index and right side like what is the minimum on the right side so minimum on the right side now is 3 still 5 is not less than or equals to 3 so this is not also the answer so we will keep move the left part and update our left maxima if it is so now we are our cursor on this place at 3 still our left max is 5 now we will try to find out what is the right minimum from after this index 3 so it's 6 so now this is satisfying 5 is less than or equals to 6 so hence this is the place we can do partition the array in the left and right part and uh, at this place when we are iterating based on the index we will return i plus 1 because the index is 0 base and the length is 1 base so we will return 3 is the answer for this first example so now you can pause the video and try to code yourself so here i have already written down the code for this approach as what i explained you can go through it it's just, just simple just we are iterating here and we are uh, every time updating left max while iterating from the left and every time we are trying to find out the minimum on the right side now what is the time complexity of this solution as you can clearly see we are running two nested for loops in worst case both the loop will run o of n time so the overall time complexity o of n square and the space complexity of this solution is o of one can we like further optimize the time complexity with the help of a space or all so this will must be the or follow-up question or interviewer must be looking for this solution at least because the first we did just brute force so how to do that so as you can see when we are iterating on this place what we are we need we need the what is the maximum on the left side including this index so what we will do we will create a array which will hold the left max at 
every place index i and with the left side of it so for first element left max is 5 for second max of 5 0 is 5 for third is also 5 for the fourth it will become 8 and for the last it will become 8 so this is our left max array another we need to know what is the minimum on the right side so that we can quickly use it so we will create another array that will hold store the minimum on the right side so that is let call rm right minimum and let's write min here and now we need to start from the right side of this so the first is as it is 6 is the minimum then minimum between 6 and 8 is 6 now minimum between 6 and 3 is 3 minimum between 0 and 3 is 0 and minimum between 0 and 5 is 0 so this is the right minimum array now what we need to do we need to take at least one element on the left side so we start iterating from this place or uh, yeah we start iterating from for i is equal to 0 to this place and compare with this i plus 1 th index so if left max if left max at i if left max at i is lesser than or equals to right min right min of i plus 1 index if it is this is satisfied then this is the place where we can partition this array so the i plus 1 is the our answer so that is the another solution now you can pause the video and try to code yourself so i have also written down the code for this solution as well to speed up the video and uh, now you can see this is the first uh, creating the left max array second part is creating right max array and third part we are so you can iterate from i is equal to 1 and compare i minus 1 for the left max and then i for right so this is what and in the end you just return n minus like it will always happen answer will return from here and in cases like uh, we have just let's say two element in our array and uh, that let's call it uh, one and uh, two so in this case this i will go over here so this will return from here so now left uh, array of left size so this is the size of our left array so now what is the time and space complexity of this solution so uh, if you see these all three conditions of for loop we are running only one for loop at a time so this will be three times o of n so nothing but it's overall o of n time complexity and space is also o of n as we are storing the is this left max and right mean in the array can we optimize this a bit like can we do in o of n time linear time and with constant space so that will be your main follow-up questions if you are able to do this you can try to see what we are doing over here in this we are every time keeping the left maximum part so what we will do here we will try to keep like in left max in one variable the so maximum so far in our uh, array and the left summary so we will try to like we iterate this array with one pointer and at place like we need to find out where we need to partition it so that partition index plus one will be the our answer if we find but before that we can divide this array into two part so first part like we will keep this is like the left possibly left array and another part like in between in between means this will be the array maybe the like elements of this array may be the part of right array or maybe a pa part of the left array based on the immediate right element after this element if this element so this element in this section this element will be all element are greater than the left maximum so greater than or equals to the left maximum value if and if we encounter any element when we are processing on the i if we encountered a element so any place like uh, if uh, i found that uh, the element at this place is lesser than the left max so we need to update what is the overall global max so far in this so we also need to maintain a global max that will be the maximum among all the nums of i which we are processed so far 
and we will update our left max by the global max and the partition index will be updated with the current i so that is the idea so let's iterate the exam this as a example fully so when we iterate this like for i 0 to n now initially our left max as well as global max both will be initialized with the nums of 0 which is 5 in this example now so here we can iterate from the one itself as we already contain and the left part should have a one element now we update our global max so global max is still 5 and the current element nums of i is lesser than if nums so our nums of i the current element at i is lesser than the left max which means we need to put this element also in the left so left array so we update our uh, local maximum with the global maximum which is 5 again and partition index will update it with the now 1 initially it is partition index is 0 so we will keep doing it now when we encounter 3 3 is also less than 0 less than 5 then partition index updated to 2 now every element after this is greater than the 5 left max so we will not change any so in this example we are not changing basically a, any player so let's take another example okay this is same so instead of 5 let's make this as uh, this guy as 8 and this guy as 4 so now if you see initially the left max is 5 and our global max is also 5 and left max this guy will include it in partition now our global max will become 8 over here and left max is still 5 when we are processing this index once we jump on this guy the 4 in that case our next element is 4 is lesser than the 5 then we need to update our left max so left max will update with the global max which is 8 and partition index move to the current i which is i of 4 index of 4 which is nothing but 3 so that is how we will do. so now let's quickly implement the code for this approach so for coding part we just need a uh, few variables so one is left max variable which is in the slice from the nums of zero and the global max which is also initialized from nums of zero and let's define the length of uh, nums and uh, after that another is like say partition index so just uh, let it call index and in size from 0 now we iterate our array int i is equals to 1 i less than n i plus plus and we update our global max every time whenever we are iterating the nums of i so that will become math dot max global max or the nums of i now we will check if our nums of i is lesser than the low left max if it is the case then we need to update our left max with the global max and the index with the current i so that's it this will iterate over and in the end we will know the proper partition where we need to the and in the end we need to return index plus one as index is just holding the index zero base so we need to return it so let's try to compile the code for this test case and it is working now let's give us try and submit it and it got accepted so the what is the time and space complexity of this solution as you can see this for loop so the time complexity is o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 as we are using few constants so if you like this video and solution please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and also share in your friend circle thanks for watching and let me know if you have any question